Hello Christrana channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a very uh, famous and a trending journal which you have come across. It is called as IJISAE, International Journal of Intelligent Systems and Applications in Engineering. So we will try to find out whether this journal is currently indexed in the Scopus database, Web of Science database or maybe master journal list. We will also try to find out whether this journal is really indexed in the ABDC Australian Business Teams Council quality journal list or maybe UGC care group 1 or maybe group 2 journal list. We will also try to find out its processing charges and the time they will take from the submission till the successful publication of the article in this reputed journal. We can understand that this journal is considered as the greatest hit of the year 2024. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of IJISAE. So this is the journal we are talking about. We try to search for IJISAE or maybe you can search for International Journal of Intelligent Systems and Application in Engineering. So you will be getting the first search result as IJISAE.org. Also we have search results coming from Sci Imago journal rank. We have other indexing databases and other conference organizers discussing about this particular journal. Let me remind our channel members that uh, this is the only uh, journal website which is available and there are no cloned or maybe fake websites available. So when we go to the first website, okay, it is IJISAE.org. So they have mentioned that this particular journal has successfully passed the re-evaluation process by the LCD. So this is a very good news. Also like uh, whatever the pending papers it will be getting indexed in Scopus within 6 weeks. They have mentioned this way and uh, they have also collaborated for the international license like a uh, digital commons uh, elsewhere license. So this is also a very good thing. So on the right hand side we can see that they have displayed the elsewhere logo so which means that they have collaborated and here they have mentioned that uh, it is indexed in the Scopus database google scholar and other uh, scholarly platforms when you go to the article processing charges they have mentioned it as 600 dollars so this is for 10 pages okay so for pages which exceed 10 pages then definitely for each of the page they are charging roughly around like 100 dollars per additional page so 600 dollars approximately it is equal to 48,000 in indian rupees and for every page which exceeds after 10 pages they will be charging around like 8000 per page here you can understand that they are also going on for a special issue publication so whatever doubts you have uh, you can uh, contact uh, editor at the rate of ijisae.org so here they have displayed the most recent articles also they have given the current issue even so when you browse through the current issue it is actually volume 12 uh, number 17 special issue 2024 we can find too many articles over here and most of them are indian author articles and uh, the page numbers are uh, uneven uh, in each of these cases we really don't know whether they are following a particular uh, page format and whether for example let us take in the case here they have accepted like 17 pages and uh, we really don't know whether they have co collected additional charges for these uh, articles when you go to the archive section here we can find out more of the special issues being published and for each of the special issues in 2024 we can find too many articles we uh, cannot actually find out the regular issue but uh, after so much research i have come into this one so this is the regular issue volume 12 issue number 1 2024 then volume 12 issue number 2 2024 and out of all other issues they are actually like special issues when you go to the about the journal section they have given the subject category so artificial intelligence pattern recognition machine learning data mining all related to computer science they have displayed and about the peer review process as usual like uh, the papers should not uh, be published elsewhere it should not be previously submitted and it should have the original content so the paper will follow a double blind peer review process which means that the article will uh, be passed on to three different reviewers they do not know about each other they will be giving the comments accordingly the editors will be taking a decision and they have clearly mentioned that uh, IJISAE will not pay any copyright fee to the authors in the publication frequency they have mentioned it as four times per year which is during March, June, September and December 
but when we browse through the archive section we can find already two issues being published we are right now in march 2024 so i really don't know whether they are actually following the publication frequency of this particular journal and the issn number has been displayed over here when you browse through the submissions uh, section uh, you can understand that they follow a open journal system so here uh, the paper format should be in a microsoft word format dot uh, doc or maybe dot docx format and you can refer to the ijisae template even and the reviewers should hold at least a phd please note that you have to uh, mention your author affiliation with the orchid id and whatever article you are submitting it should be uploaded along with the cover letter so they have also mentioned that you have to use a tool like a zotero mendeley or maybe endnote to actually format your references and paper should be normally in the ieee format so when you are using a plagiarism software like authenticate or maybe turn it in it should be lesser than 20 percentage so even if the article has equal to 20 percentage plagiarism uh, the article will be subjected to rejection they have also given the format for keywords how you can write your introduction results and discussion uh, the conflicts of interest figures schemes tables even uh, the references books book chapters journals even they have given the guidelines when you browse through the editorial team section we can understand that the chief editor is from rajasthan india and they have given the links for each of them uh, when we browse through the editor's information each of the links are visible editorial board members are from different countries this is a very very good sign but uh, maybe anyway uh, like the uh, uh, orchid id or maybe email id can be mentioned but anyway they have given the link uh, for their affiliation which is a very good thing when you browse through the contact section we can understand that they have given a complete affiliation address with pin code uh, but uh, phone number is not mentioned but they have displayed only one email id so about this journal we have uh, reasonably good information in the journal website but the only concern is that they are publishing too many articles within a regular issue or maybe special issue and we feel that they do not follow the publication frequency of this journal pattern so that is the reason we decided to search for this journal in the sci imago journal rank so here we search for ijisae so this is the journal abbreviation we try to search for this one here the country is mentioned it as turkey i really don't know that uh, they have mentioned the contact information to be from india and uh, here it is mentioned it as turkey and publisher uh, ismail uh, saritas this also we do not have any proof so the subject area and category they have mentioned it as computer science uh, artificial intelligence computer graphics computer aided design cad uh, information systems and in engineering it comes under um, control and systems engineering H index is just 9 and ISS number has been displayed. Coverage shows 2020 till 2022. You need not have to worry about. We will check them, cross check them with the Scopus website. When we click on the link of a home page and how to publish in this journal, it redirects to the exact website which we reviewed earlier. So this is the original website and here the same email ID has been mentioned. So the scope of the journal has been mentioned to be very clear. So down you can see the quartiles. Uh, in artificial intelligence control and systems engineering information systems it falls under q4 quartile and computer graphics and computer aided design it falls under q3 quartile because this uh, category is very very rare so that is the reason it comes under q3 so down you can see the two year four year and five year statistics of this journal when we browse through the common section we are unable to get the common section i try to uh, refresh the page again and again but i am not getting the common section so uh, with regards to Sci Imago Journal Rank, of course we have good information but anyway we will check with the Scopus website. So in scopus.com in sources being selected, title you are going to select into and here we searched for this particular journal and we are getting the exact search result over here. Site score is 1.4, uh, citations uh, from 2019 till 2022 is 366 and percentage cited is just 36. So we click on this particular journal name okay, to get more information. So here it shows Scopus coverage years is from 2020 till present. So which means that this journal is currently indexed in the Scopus database. Publisher, another publisher information has been displayed. Same ISA number what we saw with the website is the same. And subject area is the same. Okay, we do not have a source home page. Of course there is no other cloned or fake website. But we do not have a source home page. So when we go to the Scopus content coverage, it's an alarming sign. Here we see 2020 31 documents, 35 documents, then drastically it has increased to 335 documents, then 2023 2024 
we have around like thousand odd or maybe thousand two hundred thousand three hundred odd documents right now just imagine 2024 we had like 1300 odd documents being indexed and that too we are currently during March 2024 this is a very very alarming sign and very recently we got the information that uh, this particular journal has uh, stopped accepting articles uh, for the uh, regular issue or maybe special issue which means that either of the two can happen either the journal is going to be removed from the Scopus database or maybe they are trying to reduce the publication limit in this particular journal so with this alarming sign uh, with the, any of the journal I have come across we believe that this journal will be removed from the Scopus indexing databases uh, but uh, definitely we really don't know uh, whether Scopus is really uh, checking uh, these kinds of journals because uh, anywhere maybe through the agents through the backdoor through the association through the conference organizers even directly uh, everybody you know going for this particular journal even like a uh, hundred odd documents or maybe 150 odd documents being indexed in 2024 immediately scopus will try to take action we really don't know why they have not yet uh, taken an action against this particular journal so when you go to the site score rank and trend we can understand that it falls under 29th percentile in computer graphics and computer aided design so 29th percentile so 0 to 25 26 to 50 so it falls under the q3 quartile we really don't know how far this particular journal will uh, remain indexed in the scopus database because uh, we see like a uh, thousand odd documents already being indexed we have had live scenarios of other journals that uh, even like uh, the indexing has been removed for 2023 2024 we really don't know what will happen with regards to this particular journal when we try to search for masterjournalist.clarivate.com or maybe web of science database we try to search for this particular journal we are unable to get any search result relevant to this journal so which means that this journal is not currently indexed in the web of science database when you go to the australian business teams council abdc quality journal list we downloaded this uh, particular list okay so we try to search for this uh, particular journal we clicked on find next we are unable to get the information so which means that this journal is not indexed in the abdc journal quality list but when we go to the ugc care website there is a uh, ugc care group one and group two as you can understand this this particular journal falls under the scope of source list which means that this journal comes under the UGC care group too. So about this journal we have uh, like a relevant information necessary information in the journal website. Of course editorial board members are from different countries but the only concern is the publication because we find too many articles most of them are Indian author articles and uh, we can see that in one particular regular issue or maybe special issue we find too many articles and those articles luckily have been indexed but we have had similar scenarios with the uh, other journals as well if they try to publish more than 150 articles maybe they might be removed under serious concerns so so far we have around like thousand odd documents being indexed up to 2024 we really don't know how long it will uh, remain in the scopus database and as far as the article processing charges are concerned in the website they have quoted to be 600 dollars or approximately 48,000 in Indian rupees but through the backdoor through the association they are charging an amount of 40,000 in Indian rupees or approximately $500 and the time they take uh, for the successful publication of the articles is between one to one and a half months so far this journal is currently indexed in the Scopus database and that is the reason is currently indexed in the UGC care group too but this journal is not indexed in the uh, ABDC journal quality list or maybe web of science database so maybe if you are preparing your quality articles for this particular journal please uh, refer to the indexing information in the scopus database then please come to a conclusion so i'm sure you would have benefited a lot out of this useful review so if you have any clarifications questions queries positive or maybe negative experience please share them in the comment section so see you then in another interesting yet another genuine review of a Scopus Web of Science, SCI, ISI, ABDC or maybe UGC care group 1 or maybe group 2 journalist. Till then, collaboration.